Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a really cool trick. This one is going to be a little more difficult than most of the other videos that I usually post. Um, so anyways, to start it off, let's say you had a spectator and they picked a card from here and they also picked a card from here. So these are two completely uh, random cards and if you can take a look at them, we have the Ace of Spades and the Eight of Clubs. So don't forget these, you'll have to remember these for the trick. And let's say we take the Eight first and we lose this into the middle of the deck somewhere. We're going to lose it into the pack, and let's say we give the deck a couple more cuts, just like this. So we're losing your eight into the middle, and then we're gonna take your ace and do the same thing. We're gonna lose it into the middle of the deck. And the whole premise of this trick um, is basically, as you can see, the cards are lost in the deck. What I want you to do is you can find them yourself by picking two cards at random, and these two cards are just gonna so happen to be the cards that you chose from the beginning. So let's say we have the Ace of Diamonds and the Five of Hearts. So these aren't your cards, right? But let's say if we can just take them like this and let's see if we can't do something with them. So we take the Ace. Now we have the Eight of Clubs and the Ace of Spades. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to know how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys. So the cool thing about this trick is that it can be done with um, any deck. The spectators can shuffle it up beforehand, or or you can just use like a borrowed deck. Um, but the whole thing is, let's say the spectator, you can start it off. The spectator would shuffle up the deck, and then they can pick any two cards face down. The trick would work better if you have two spectators, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just say we have two cards here. These are randomly picked, and you can show them. Um, in the video, I showed them just because of the simple move that I had to do. It wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to necessarily hide the card from you guys, but um, in this case you wouldn't necessarily have to show these to the spectators so bear in mind um, let's say we have the spectators looking at their cards with the four clubs and the three of spades so these are completely random make sure the spectator remembers them and one at a time you can take the three and you can just double undercut it to the top by sticking it in the middle pushing down getting that break and then cutting it back to the top so it's very simple this card goes back to the top and then what you do is a browy reversal move so you're going to push off the top card here get a pinky break, transfer this one to a thumb break, so now you have the top card just like this, and now what you're doing is you're basically double undercutting the deck, but instead of putting it on top, you're just kind of flipping the deck over on top of the break, and then doing the same exact thing with the bottom. So now that card is going to be on the very bottom of the deck, but it's going to be flipped over. So at this point, what you do is you take the spectator's card, the second one, and you can just kind of put it face up, so this way the cards face up. You're putting it on to, or on the bottom of the deck here. That way when you flip it over, this card is going to be concealed. So from here, you have the spectators, or you tell them that they're cards, or you could actually at first, you can just take the cards and do a uh, false cut here, telling the spectators that the cards are gonna get mixed up, and you make sure that card doesn't flash here. And then at this point, you tell the spectators that the deck is mixed up, and you're gonna have them find the cards. So from here, you just kind of push over the top cards in a block. This way, this top card, or this second card, isn't gonna be flashed. So you push over the cards, and you have them touch two cards from the middle. And obviously, these are not gonna be their cards, so you take them out, make sure not to flash that second card here. And you can hand the cards over to the spectator, and as they're looking at them, what you're gonna do is get a pinky break underneath the top two cards. So it was kind of difficult in the, in the performance because I don't really have a spectator to misdirect here. But basically all I did was I riffled down the bottom here and caught a two card break. So it's very simple and the spectators aren't going to really notice if they have these two cards in their hand. So they give them back and these are not their cards and what you do is you take them back face up and you're going to put them on top of the break just like that. And then you take the break, you pick it up and you just thumb over the first card leave that on the deck and now what you have is a three card uh, packet but obviously to the spectator they think this is one card so what you're going to do is the paintbrush move i won't go too into detail about it just because i can just leave a link and it would take way too long to go into the specifics of this but uh, for the most part you're holding the cards like this with your thumb and your two uh your index and your middle at the bottom and all you're doing is you're going like this a few times and you tell the spectator okay let's see if we can't get these cards to do something so you just kind of paint brush the card here and then eventually when the cards are face to face and there's a bend in these three cards you are just pushing the two cards down here you're pushing those off 
and you're coming back with a single card just like this. So I'll leave a link to this way, it'll make more sense. And you can fan off the top two cards, you give them to the spectator, and you make sure not to show the second card because that one's going to be face up. So uh, this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And as always, thank you.